So, this will be the first time with you conducting Sibelius with Old Symphony in your job as our chief conductor. And I know that many of us in the audience, we tend to decide if we like the new chief conductor when we hear him conduct Sibelius. Is this fair in your opinion? <laughs> well, um, not really, no. Uh, but I'm sure that people do the same in the UK when new conductors are conducting Elgar. So, yeah, it's natural, but uh, it doesn't bother me. It's all music. Um, the, the Fifth Symphony of Sibelius, usually the story is that it is a story about spring and liberation. It starts a little bit kind of rugged and then it opens up and everything starts moving and it's spring and liberation. That is the story that we usually tell about the Fifth Symphony. But do you accept this? What, what does the Fifth Symphony mean for you? It's, it's difficult. It's, there's so many things you can put on top of this music and um, I, I, I do try to imagine things like that and occasionally I will let the orchestra know what I'm feeling. But with, with this piece, I think to put words on it, it feels wrong. Um, because it, it, it's so many different colours and shades and every moment can have a different characteristic. So I'm preferring not to put that kind of simple story on top of the music here. Then what do you use to open it up for yourself? How do you find the inter interpretation of this piece? I think because I, I study the score a lot, I know every single note and I've conducted the work a lot, I prefer to think about it in, in actually purely, purely musical terms. Um, I think some pieces in the repertoire uh, can take these associations of literature or illustration, but, but actually for this I th I'm treating it as pure music and the musical motivations and the sort of organic processes of the composer are, are far more interesting to me than, than something about nature. And then what about us who, who hear something? When we listen to the Fifth Symphony of Sibelius, many of us, we think this is my music, this is about me and for me. Sibelius wrote this for, for me. So what do you have to say for us who I still find this? Is, is there something Finnish in it? Is there something specifically? Very possibly. I mean, I, you probably have to be Finnish to find that. And, and I think that's more interesting than, than the putting the, the, the um, illustration on top, is that it, it, it resonates deeply with people. And perhaps people can't often explain why, but it's there, it's of the place, of them, of history. Um, but that's not to say I don't feel something, too. Of course, I don't feel Finnish when I conduct it, but I, it, the piece really comes strongly within me uh, for other reasons and really rings in me uh, for musical reasons.